All right, now that we've gotten through most all of the programming basics section, let's get into one final topic, which is input validation. So we're going to get input from our user, and we're going to make sure that it's input that we can use and not some bogus input that uh, doesn't make any sense to our program. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, ask our ask the user if they like cheeseburgers. So we're going to say, do you like cheeseburgers? Question mark. And then, of course, they're going to answer, and we're going to respond based on their answer. So we're going to use an if else, and we're going to check to see if their answer equals yes. So if their answer equals yes, then they like cheeseburgers. Great. So uh, let's see what, what we should do. Let's uh, say, great, me too. Great, me too. Uh, if we do like it, otherwise, let's just say, all too bad. All too bad. Okay, so now we can run this program. It says, do you like cheeseburgers? And I can type in, yes. It says, great, me too. And run the program again. Do you like cheeseburgers? Nah. Aw, too bad. But what happens if I type, like, yupper, which means yes, I guess, technically, but if I press enter, it says, aw, too bad, because we had to hard code our answer to yes, exactly, which sometimes could be okay, but usually you don't want something like that. So how can we take care of this? So I'm just going to duplicate this program, and uh, I'm going to store store the old one over here and just disconnect it so that you can see what it looks like there, but we're going to work on a new one right here. So all we're going to add is some thing called input validation. So we're going to put a repeat until right in between these two blocks. So first we're going to say, do you like cheeseburgers? And then we're going to repeat until we get an answer that we like. So repeat until we get the answer yes, or we get the answer no, because we only want to respond if we get yes or no. And then we're just going to ask the question again. So sorry, duplicate all that and just put that in there. So it's going to say, do you like cheeseburgers? Yes or no. Ask, do you like cheeseburgers? So now it will always repeat until the answer is yes. Okay, so if we're going to run this, do you like cheeseburgers? I'm going to type yes, nothing happened, or the same thing happened. It says, great, me too. Run it again, do you like cheeseburgers? I'm going to type yupper. And then it just asks me again. So what you could do to make that clear, sorry, that's not a, you could write in here, sorry. That is not a valid answer. Okay, then uh, you can run this, and then I can type yupper, and says sorry, that is not a valid answer. And then we can ask, do you like cheeseburgers? And it asks it again because it's like, well, we didn't get a valid answer. So now you can say yes, and it says great, me too. So we validated the input from the user. Now this restricts our answer to yes or no, uh, but that can be helpful. Let's uh, put this over here so you can still see it. And then I'm going to do one other kind of input validation. This time, instead of asking a yes or no question, we're going to see if we can get a specific item. So we're going to ask the user what kind of food they would like. We're going to pretend that they're at a restaurant and they're going to answer a food. And then if we have that food, we're going to say, great, we'll get you that food. Otherwise, we're going to say, sorry, we don't have that food. So let's get started. So when we when the flag is clicked, we're going to just do our ask again. OK, so we're just going to type in what kind of food would you like? And then we're going to do some things based on that. OK, so if our answer equals burgers, because of course we have burger, we got to have burger. Well, we'll just, yeah, let's just do single burger. So if answer equals burger, then we will say, great. Then we will say our answer just to confirm with, uh, our, page, with our person what we got. I'm going to change these to one second. Great answer. And then finally, we'll say coming right up. Coming right up. Change that back to one second. Um, and then let's just test this and type in burger. Great. Burger. Coming right up. Awesome. I'm going to duplicate this, put it in here, and we're going to do pizza. And of course, finally, we've got to do the classic American food. We're going to do hot dogs. Or hot dog, I guess. And then 
in this final else, we're going to say, sorry, we don't have that item. Sorry, we do not sell that here. Okay, so I can press run. What kind of food do you like? I would like pizza. Enter. Great. Pizza. Coming right up. And the same thing happens for a hot dog. Great. Hot dog. Coming right up. And run it one more time. And let's type in something that we don't have, which is cake. And sorry, we do not sell that here. Okay, so that's kind of input validation. We're just asking for certain types of input, but we can simplify this a whole lot. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a list and uh, we're gonna call it, um, we're gonna call it our food options. Okay, and I'm just gonna press okay. And then I'm gonna add some things to this list. I'm just gonna duplicate this block right here and just add those three items. So we're gonna add burger, we're gonna add pizza, and we're going to add hot dog. I'm just gonna double click this. Now all three of those items are in our list. Very cool. I'm going to take this script again. I'm going to hide it down here and duplicate it so that we can work with it and make it even better. All right, so we're going to keep this down here so we can uh, base our thing off of it. But this time, we're going to use our input validation. So what we're going to do is we can cut all of this away and we'll keep this block down here so we can do this. Now, we have this handy block down here, food options contains thing. So say if it contains our answer, then we'll say great. And then we'll say the item are coming right up. Otherwise, we do not sell that here. This simplifies it so much. So now if you have 100 items on your menu, which hopefully most companies don't, but anyways, uh, then you only have to have these few blocks instead of keep on adding more and more stacking up. So it saves so much space. So you can press run. What kind of food would you like? I want a burger, please. Great, burger, coming right up. Run the program again. I'm gonna do a pizza. Great, pizza, coming right up. And then I'm gonna do something that we don't have. I'm just gonna order pickles because why, I mean, yeah, let's go for that. Sorry, we do not have that here. Cool, so that's also fine and dandy, but we want to do one more thing. So our user came to our restaurant for a reason but we want to make sure that they get satisfied. So we want to keep on asking them what they want until they choose something that uh, we have to offer. So again, we're just going to pull this off to the side, disconnect it. I'm just going to duplicate it entirely and put it over here. Just like our repeat until block, we're going to use some very similar method. So we're going to put our repeat until, and I'll put this at the end. So we're going to repeat until our food options contains our answer. And then since we know that they're always going to choose something, or we hope that they're always going to choose something that we have, so at the end we'll just say great, uh, coming right up. And on the inside we'll say sorry, we do not sell that here. And then we'll ask the question again. So first we'll say what kind of food would you like? If it already contains it, then it's going to skip this. We'll say great, that food's coming right up. But if it's not in this list, then it's going to say sorry, we do not sell that here. And then we'll ask again what kind of food you would like. So, what kind of food would you like? I want some cake, please. Sorry, we do not sell that here. What kind of food would you like? Oh, well, do you have pickles? Sorry, we do not sell that here. What kind of food would you like? Hmm, I guess I'll have to go with french fries. Again, all these are not in the list. Sorry, we do not sell it here. What kind of food would you like? Well, I guess I could go for a burger. Great, burger coming right up. So this is just some simple ways that you can validate the input that you're getting from your user and make sure something that your program can actually use. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.